probably eight years ago, I started Health 2.0 New York City chapter. And we can talk about Health 2.0 separately, but it's, uh, you know, the tagline for me was about connect, create, and cure. Um, and it's about connecting people and creating, you know, products and processes and, and companies to actually cure people. Um, and since those eight years, I think, you know, the topic today around personalized medicine, I guess one of my first questions would be just randomly throw some keywords when you think about personalized medicine. What do you think of? Predictive. Prevention. Prevention. Patient safety. Tracking. Tracking. Participation. Good. Uh, genomics. So on that, I will stop you there, because I will actually read the official Wikipedia thing, but I'm going to change it all around later. The personalized medicine is an emerging practice of medicine that uses an individual's genetic profile to guide decisions made in regard to prevention, diagnoses, and treatment of disease. I personally, talk about personalization, would like to extend it. It's not just the genomic data. Um, to me, these days, we're seeing microbiomes. Uh, we're talking about wearables devices. Uh, we're talking about, you know, just the clinical data, and we are talking about a little bit earlier, we're data rich as an industry, but knowledge poor still, to actually <coughs> solve these issues for the patients um, at, at the door, at the walk-in, during the telemedicine um, process. So that's the extension. Um, the other piece around this is I really want to talk about a big conundrum in the industry. We are just exploring and getting enough data to do population health management. Uh, you know, our clients, the software vendors, the EMRs, are looking at the population health management. There's a couple of people around the table that are handling a lot of this. But at the same time, we're trying to get very personal and very precise, aka precision medicine, into the livelihoods and the health and wellness and the being of every individual. So I wanted to talk a little bit um, about sort of five key um, micro and macroeconomic uh, drivers. I'm going to leave the you know 20, 30, what's the count now? Billion just within the NHS shortfall. So that's a that's a given. Um, but tied to that is you know the from a service perspective and quality of life, that's a big driver. Um, the the other aspect is I kind of mentioned around you know wearables devices, um, you know the Internet of Things that are touching the environmental sensors in your home. All of that data is getting more and more precise. Um, there's a lot of naysayers. People are saying, well, why, you know, why collect data for the sake of collecting data? You know, my answer is we don't know what we don't know yet. Um, I think uh, there's a lot of smart people out there trying to find you know, correlations and intricacies around each individual human behavior. Um, the other aspect is, um, you know, talk about specifically genomics, um, the cost of a genome sequence has not gone down from, I think, 400,000 per sequence to under 1,000. You know, the goal of all of this, at the end of the day, is to change or impact the human behavior at point of care, but also at home.